Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue dans le studio Les Facs en Forme propulsé par PSP. Je suis votre hôte, Coach Thor. Comme toujours, avoir de l'eau à proximité, avoir un espace bien dégagé et sécuritaire. Et si jamais il y a un mouvement euh, qui ne vous convient pas, dites-moi dans les commentaires pour que je puisse vous donner des alternatives pour ce mouvement-là. Tant que c'est une euh, séance pré-enregistrée, je vais vous répondre dès que possible. Okay? Welcome everyone to the Canadian Armed Forces Fitness Studios powered by PSP. I am your host, Coach Saul. Please make sure that you have water nearby, that you have enough space to work out in. And please make sure that if there's any movements that do not agree with you in your body, you let me know in the comment section so that I can give you an alternative. Now, because this is a pre-recorded session, I will need to respond to you uh, later on. But uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible uh, so you can uh, change it up for now. And then, or skip over that movement for now, and then I will give you some alternatives uh, as needed, okay, as requested. Before we get started, please read the not the non-responsive uh, the um, disclaimer before begin. Si vous voulez, s'il vous plaît, lisez. Euh, la fiche de non-responsabilité avant de commencer cet entraînement avec moi. Bon, on va commencer avec des positions statiques suivies d'un flux de c est, c est comme le yoga, mais euh, c'est vraiment juste pour étirer tout le corps. Ok, alors on va commence, commencer dans la position 4 cow, ok, la position de la table. On va aller dans la table top position et on va commencer avec 4 cow. Alors ce que je veux que vous faites, c'est que vous gardez vos poings, euh, vos, vos poignets en dessous des épaules et les genoux écartés, la largeur des épaules, euh, des, des hanches et en dessous des hanches aussi. Quand on inspire, je veux que vous baissez le ventre et que vous recourbez le dos. Et dès que vous expirez, je veux que vous arrondissez le dos le plus que possible et que vous appuyez vos mains au sol. Ok Alors, c'est parti. On prend une grande respiration. Inspire. Et on expire. Amenez les hanches jusqu'aux côtes. Inspirez. Expirez. Inhale, round the back. Arch the back, I should say. And exhale, round the back. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round the back. Bring those hips right into the ribs. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. I want you really to have the intention of rounding that back all the way. Inhale, arching that back, bum up into the sky as well as your head towards one another. And exhale. Last two breaths here in this position. Et la dernière respiration. Et bien, on va maintenant faire les, les, uh, les ouvrages. Non, pas les ouvrages. I'm sorry. We're going to do some thoracic openers. Okay? So we're going to stay in this position, the quadruped position. One hand is going to come a little bit closer to the center. The other hand is going to come behind your head. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach the elbow to elbow. Okay. And as we exhale, we're going to rotate and try and get your elbow pointed all the way towards the sky. We're going to open up 
la thorax. Ok Alors on va chercher le plus d'amplitude que possible et on va en ouvrant euh, la thorax. Ok Alors, on garde cette position de table à une main. Je mets l'autre main en arrière de ma tête et c'est parti. Inspiration et expiration. On ouvre le thorax. Inspiration et on ouvre le thorax. 3 4 5 Il nous reste 5 6 Make sure your breathing is synchronized. Seven. With the movement. Eight. Nine. And ten. We're going to switch sides uh, so you can turn around or you can stay where you are. I'm staying where I am. Hand closer to the center, other hand behind the head. And let's go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Four. Five. Six. Seven. going to go into a half kneeling hamstring stretch. So essentially I want you just to go into a kneeling position. Okay. Mettez-vous à genoux. Mettez une jambe étendue devant vous, le talon au sol. Et ce qu'on va faire, c'est qu'on va mettre les mains sur la cuisse et on va, on va suivre la jambe jusqu'au point qu'on peut garder les deux mains sur la jambe. Alors si c'est au niveau de du genou, on arrête là et on peut sentir l'étirement dans les skis au jambier. Si c'est le mitibia, c'est bien. Si c'est le la cheville, si c'est les orteils, si c'est le plancher, c'est bien. Le talon, c'est la cible si vous êtes euh, assez souple de vous rendre à vous rendre. Pendant qu'on tient cette position, de chercher de plus en plus d'amplitude de mouvement. D'aller plus en plus loin dans l'étirement.
et redressez-vous tout doucement et on va changer à l'autre jambe. So we're going to go to the other leg now. Other leg in front of us, heel on the floor. We're going to stretch out that hamstring here. But what I want us to do is put our hands both on our leg, reach down the leg, feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Front leg stays straight. We're going to reach all the way down until we get to the point where we can't go any further. Now, we don't want to bend the knee. We want to keep the leg straight. We're just going to try and go down. If it's the knee, great. If it's the, uh, what do you call this, the shin, that's great. Ankle is fine. We're going to try, if you're flexible enough, to get your hand around your heel, okay? Keeping that front leg completely straight. Okay, so we're going to hold this stretch. And as you're breathing and as you're, as you're uh, holding this stretch, try and think about getting a little bit further and further down into this stretch. And nice and slowly and nice and gently come on out of that stretch. And now we're going to stretch uh, the adductors, so the inside of the leg as opposed to the back of the leg. We're going to go on our knees, okay, agenouillés, hands on the floor. Okay, I want you to stick your hips back, take your foot out to the side, straight leg, and I want you to sit back onto your heel. Okay, and what we're looking to do here is keep the foot flat on the floor, sit back and Feel a stretch on the inside of your leg in your adductors. You can go down onto your elbows if you want to feel a little bit more of a stretch here. Make sure that you're breathing and just trying to get a little bit lower in this stretch with each breath. Even if it's just by a millimeter, it's going to help get a little bit more range of motion. the mouth so opening up that thoracic spine as well as opening up the lower body for our flow your last deep breath in this position and then I want you to come forward to ease up the tension in the adductors then I want you to switch knees okay on change de jambe genou au sol l'autre pied au sol on veut garder le, le pied bien plaqué au sol et on veut s'asseoir sur le talon qui nous reste en arrière si vous voulez descendre sur vos coudes c'est bien mais ne vous avancez pas sur les coudes on reste 
vers l'arrière en gardant la jambe droite et le droit, je veux dire, et euh, garder le talon et les orteils au sol en même temps. Respirez, essayez de chercher encore plus d'amplitude dans cette position. Trois, deux, un, et on avance un petit peu pour réduire la tension dans les adducteurs et on revient à une position à genoux. Okay. Alors, je vais vous montrer le flux qu'on va faire aujourd'hui. Et alors, patientez s'il vous plaît avec moi. Si vous voulez euh, expérimenter un petit peu avec les mouvements, si vous voulez faire les mouvements avec moi pendant le démon, c'est bien. Mais sinon, juste relaxer, respirer et regarder. Ok Alors, on va commencer dans une position debout. On met les mains sur les cuisses. On va suivre les cuisses jusqu'aux genoux, jusqu'aux tibias. On va faire un Jefferson Curl. Alors, c'est menton sur la poitrine. On va fondre vers l'avant et on va avoir le dos rond. Okay? Pendant qu'on est en bas, on va faire un inchworm. Alors, on avance jusqu'en position de planche. Mais j'ai commencé à, au à milieu de mon matelas. OK, rendu en planche, on va faire un cobra. Alors, je vais prendre une grande respiration. Je descends ma poitrine et je me lève en cobra. Après d'avoir pris des respirations en cobra, on revient en downward dog. Chien tête en bas. Après chien tête en bas, on met un pied au milieu. On, on lève une jambe dans les airs. Trois chiens à trois pattes. Après ça, on vient en pigeon. On prend une grande respiration, on va faire trois euh, vagues ou ondes corporelles. Après de ces trois ondes corporelles, on va retourner en euh, chien tête en bas. On va faire l'autre jambe en pigeon, euh, chien à trois pattes, pigeon. On fait trois respirations ainsi que trois ondes corporelles. On recourbe les orteils, on revient, downward dog, on refait le cobra. Ensuite, on revient en planche et on se redresse, on, on fait le déroulement du dos en expirant. Ok, Je sais que c'est beaucoup, mais c'est beaucoup des mêmes mouvements. Alors, je vais suivez-moi et je vous promets que vous allez avoir du plaisir. Ok, Alors... Grande respiration, tout le monde. Deep breath, everyone. I know it's a lot, but follow me and you're going to have some fun. Okay? Stand at the edge of your mat if you have one. If you're doing this on carpet or something, that's perfect. Make sure that if you're doing this on hardwood, you have something that is going to make it a little bit less hard on your knee, on your joints. Okay? Deep breath. Hands on the thighs and nice, slow melt towards the front. One vertebrae at a time. When you're at the bottom, I want you to walk it out to a plank position. Inchworm to a plank position. Deep breath. And as you exhale, come down. Relax on the floor. Inhale. And as you exhale, come up to Cobra. On your next inhale, I want you to curl your toes under. And on your exhale, I want you to come back to Downward Facing Dog. Inhale. 
and exhale. On your next inhale, bring your foot to the center and exhale, bring your foot overhead, three-legged dog. Inhale, and on your exhale, you're bringing your foot through, your knee through into pigeon pose. Deep breath here. Inhale, and body wave towards the left. Inhale, body wave towards the center. Inhale, body wave towards the right. Curl those back toes under, inhale. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the other leg up now. And exhale, bring your knee in to pigeon. Inhale, body wave towards the right. Inhale, body wave towards the center. Inhale, body wave towards the right. Curl your back toes under on your next inhale. And now come back to downward facing dog. Nice exhale. Come into a plank position. Come down. Inhale. And come up into Cobra. If you want to stay on your elbows in this position, that's totally fine to reduce the uh, extension in your spine. Curl your toes under. Come back to a plank position. And now slowly come back to a standing position where we're folded forward and now roll up one vertebra at a time. And your chin is the last thing to come off your chest. When you're at the top, do a shoulder roll towards the back. And let's repeat this sequence again. So inhale. Hands on the thighs and exhale, roll, fold, and melt down towards the floor. From here, I want us to walk forward into inchworm, out into plank. Inhale, and on your exhale, coming down to the floor, put the tops of your feet on the floor. On your next exhale, Push up into Cobra. Inhale, curl those toes under and exhale, come back into Downward Facing Dog. On your next inhale, I want you to put your foot in the center. And on your next exhale, I want you to reach one leg into the sky, three-legged dog. On your next exhale, bring your knee in between the wrists, pigeon pose. Inhale, body wave to the left. Inhale, body wave to the center. Inhale, body wave to the right. Take a deep breath in the pigeon. Curl your toes under. And on your next exhale, come back into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, put your foot into the center. And lift the other leg into the sky now. Exhale. Inhale. And on your next exhale, bring your knee between the wrists into pigeon. Take a deep breath here. On your next exhale, we're going to go body wave to the right. Inhale. Body wave to the center. 
inhale, body wave to the left, curl your back toes under and come back, downward facing dog, push your head through your arms, come forward into a plank position and on your next exhale lower yourself to the floor. Tops of the feet on the floor, inhale, and on your next exhale, push up into Cobra. Inhale, come back down to the floor, curl the back toes under. Exhale, come up to plank. And now walk yourself back slowly in your forward fold and slowly unroll the upper body one vertebrae at a time and chin comes off the chest and smile goes on your face very nice everyone again we're gonna do this one what angle am I I'm gonna do it from the other angle this time take a sip of water if you'd like I know it's, it's taxing being in these positions and if you're sweating and if you're breathing heavy a little bit then uh, take a little sip of water okay or if you don't feel like you need water don't do it I'm standing at the back of my mat I'm taking a deep breath hands on the thighs and down we go une vertèbre à la fois j'amène mes mains au sol si vous avez besoin pliez les genoux et on marche on fait le chenille jusqu'en planche Et en expirant, j'y vais au sol, je me couche au sol à plat ventre, fais haut du pied au sol, grande respiration. Et en expirant, levez le haut du corps en cobra. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on descend, recourbez les orteils et en expirant, on va en Chien tête en bas, position chien tête vers le bas. On inspire en mettant le pied au milieu, on lève l'autre jambe. Chien à trois pattes. Et en expirant, on amène le genou entre les poignets pour nous rendre en position pigeon. Grande respiration en pigeon. Et pendant votre prochaine respiration, je veux que vous faites le rond corporel à gauche. J Inspire. Rond corporel au milieu. On inspire. Rond corporel à la droite. On inspire. Et on recourbe les orteils et on revient dans la position chien tête vers le bas. En inspirant, on met le pied au milieu et on lève l'autre jambe en haut, trois pattes. Et en expirant, on amène le genou au centre des poings. Et on prend une respiration en pigeon. Pendant votre prochaine expiration, on fait le honte corporel à droite. Prendre respiration. Honte corporel au centre. Et on fait le honte corporel à gauche. On recourbe les orteils. On revient dans la position chien tête en bas. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on revient en planche et on se couche au sol à plat ventre. Mais les hauts du pied au sol et pendant votre prochaine expiration, on lève le haut du corps. Grande respiration. 
on rabaisse, on recourbe les orteils et on se relève en planche. Et on marche du main en reculant vers les pieds. Et grande respiration en expirant. On fait le déroulement tout doucement, une vertèbre à la fois. Enlève en dernier le menton de la poitrine. Je change de côté de mon matelas. C'est juste pour moi parce que j'aime changer pour que ça soit plus intéressant. On met les mains sur les cuisses. Grande respiration. Et on fait le roulement du dos. Une vertèbre à la fois. Juste en bas. Mais les mains au sol et on marche juste en planche. Grande respiration et on baisse dans une position euh, couchée au sol. Grande respiration et on lève le haut du corps entre au bras, les hauts du pied au sol. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on descend. Couché à plat ventre, on recourbe les orteils et on se lève, fesses dans les airs. Position chien, tête en bas. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on met le pied au centre, on lève l'autre jambe, chien à trois pattes et on amène le genou entre les poignets pour la position pigeon. Grande respiration, on fait la honte corporelle à gauche, encore une fois, au centre, et encore une fois, à droite. C'est bien, je recours mes orteils, je reviens dans la position chien tête en bas. Je remets mon pied au centre et j'amène l'autre jambe dans l'air. Chien à trois pattes. Amenez le genou dans le centre. Respirez en pigeon. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on fait le honte corporel à droite. Dans le centre. Et à gauche. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on recourbe les orteils et on revient dans la position chien tête en bas. Pendant votre prochaine respiration, on revient en planche et on descend jusqu'à plat ventre, les hauts du pied au sol et on expire en nous levant en cobra. Grande respiration et en expirant, expirant, on revient coucher au sol, on recourbe les orteils. Grande respiration et on se lève du temps plein et on marche en reculant jusqu'aux orteils, jusqu'aux pieds et on va faire le déroulement. La et on fait le roulement des épaules en haut. Great job everyone. Let it, let's sit in a lotus position, whether that means legs crossed like me, or if you are someone who can put your foot on top of the opposite leg and then on top of the other one, then you go ahead and do that. But that's not me today. What I want us to think about is I want us to think about having a good posture, nice straight back. I want us to think about keeping our straight back to allow our lungs to expand as much as possible. We're going to take five deep breaths, box out breathing. So we're going to inhale for a count of five, hold for a count of five, exhale for a count of five, hold the lungs empty for a count of five. Okay, we're going to do this five times and I want us to just stay in a nice relaxed state. But 
I want us to make sure we're focusing on keeping our back nice and straight. Good posture, chest up. Okay, elbows or forearms on the knees. And if you want to sit up on something elevated like a yoga block to give you a little bit more uh, comfort, then do it. All right, forearms on the knees, palms facing the ceiling. Close your eyes if you wish. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold, lungs empty. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Turn to your normal breath. Well done, everyone. This really helps me get to sleep at night. If I'm ever having trouble sleeping, sometimes the mind is just wandering. And so the wandering mind, if you bring it back into uh, a little bit of uh, consciousness of your body uh, and of your breathing, for example, then it kind of is a nice distraction that allows you to get to sleep. But I do that, you know, if by the, by the time I get to 10 breaths, I'm already asleep before I get to 10 breaths, I should say. Stay in that lotus position, but switch legs now. Switch the legs that are in front, uh, because I'm gonna tell us the quote of the week. So the quote of the week this week. Citation de la semaine, cette semaine, c'est la douleur que vous ressentez aujourd'hui sera la force que vous ressentirez demain. Okay, alors, so in English, the quote of the week, the pain you feel today will be the strength you feel tomorrow. All right, so even if there's a little bit of discomfort in the movement today, even if there's a little bit of, of I wouldn't say pain necessarily, but discomfort, right? Because I don't want you to injure yourself, but I do want you to try and push yourself with each session. Even if it's just like, for example, we'll take the pigeon stretch. If you try and move your foot forward a little bit further, and that's the only movement that you try and increase the, the uh, range of motion in then that's perfect I want that's what I want I want you to try and improve with every session even if it's just by micrometers okay so yes if you challenge yourself you will feel the difference it in the quote it's tomorrow but I think you understand that this, in the sense of the quote we're talking about in the long term you're gonna feel the benefits of pushing yourself that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this mobility session uh, and I will see you all next week. Uh, I will be back on Tuesday from my fitness competition in Florida. So I hope uh, everyone is enjoying their week and I'll see you and I'll let you know how it goes when I get back. Take care.